What is up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. And today's episode is quite different guys. Uh, it's, haven't seen this before, never seen it. You see it here first on Yak Pack Outdoors, all right? We're doing the oil change fishing challenge today, okay? So I took my truck in to get an oil change. I took a poll on Instagram. It got about uh, 700 votes. Three people said no, they didn't want to see this. So 697 people on Instagram wanted to see me take my truck in for an oil change and about two hour time frame, go out and see if I can catch or see you know how many fish I can catch. But anyways, with that being said, guys, it's gonna start raining here in a minute and I'm just, just gonna fish, guys. Let's get to fishing. Okay, everybody, check it out. I like to ask, I like to do something on this channel called the question of the day. I ask a question, you put your answer in the comments. It's a really good time. You guys should join in on the fun. So today's question of the day is if you could let's say if you had a job doing i don't know we'll, we'll say let's say you had a manager job at best buy right you were a regional manager for best buy you were going to make a hundred thousand dollars a year with that job would you choose that job over getting paid fifty thousand dollars a year to be a fisherman not necessarily like a i don't mean you know professional like b-a-s-s -S, like bass master classic type fisherman but if somebody was going to pay you 50 grand a year just to be a fisherman just to be a fisherman would you choose that or would you choose the hundred thousand dollar a year job from best buy spicy question today mm, that's a good one i'll let you guys know my answer down in the comments below Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Today we are doing the challenge that you probably have never seen before. Oh, what is that? That is like a little pinfish. Okay. We are doing the oil change fishing challenge. All right. So basically, I've got my truck over here at the, uh, the oil change spot. And I have that amount of time until I'm called and, and they say my truck is done. That is what time. That is how much time I have. To catch a fish so we're gonna see all i need to do is catch one that's it that is it something just followed me back there's a what is that that's a cichlid yeah something just followed me back but it was like a little pinfish. it wasn't it dang sure wasn't gonna eat this big easy right here ain't no way ain't no way guys if you hadn't seen the video from the other day where i took this rod the favorite absolute rod where i took this thing peacock bass fishing man that was a super good video and uh i will link it down in the description below if you guys want to check that out also another really cool thing i got going on right here guys is uh you guys can get 15 percent off any any anything any kind of order you put on favorites website anything at all you guys get 50 percent off the code you guys get 15 percent off the code is capital yak pack one five yak pack 15 so if that's something you guys are interested in then uh it's linked in the description it's down there you guys just do your thing if you don't want to use it don't use it if you want to use it check it out it's all up to you guys whatever you guys want I think i'm on the wrong side boys oh there we go there we go Yeah. Stuck one. Oh no, he fell. He's going back to the Z in the water. Where'd he go? There he is. We gotta get this dude. There we go. Smoked him. <laughs> got him. Bro, he's got some chompers on him. First fish of the day. How freaking dude, the oil change fishing challenge what what he's got some nasty on him but uh oh god this fish stinks so bad i just had to crawl down this whole embankment <sighs> let's go guys let's freaking go the oil change fishing challenge all right dude let's get you back head first here he goes dove back in let's go all right so it is uh officially coming down now it's it's raining pretty good, so I'm kind of trying to like fish weird. It's if you guys could see me right now, you'd probably be laughing, but I'm like hunched over protecting my GoPro. Yeah, it's kind of weird. 
I honestly should probably try to go find some sort of something to stand under, at least till this passes. But yeah, it's like pouring now. Yeah, I gotta find something to stand under, guys. It's pouring down rain. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> we fishing, baby! <laughs> we ain't stopping yet. Y'all crazy, man. Your fish are already wet. They don't care. Crazy and crazy. You think I'm gonna stop fishing because it's raining. <laughs> Bro, I hate tilapia so much. Tilapia's ruined any kind of bass fishing. Guy I made a video with the other day, Ryan. I know you guys are probably more so familiar with him now, but uh, dude, it, it blows my mind. Like he told me, he was like, yeah, if you ever see tilapia, don't even waste your time bass fishing. Cause like they eat the bass eggs and they just, they're super aggressive to bass and like they mess them up and hundred percent truth behind it too. It's, I mean, it's, it blows my mind. Like it's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what it is. They're just big bullies. Just big fish world bullies. What in the world? What is this? Oh, no way. Bill Dance. What is this? Oh, it's a hook remover. I just found a hook remover, guys. This is brand new. What? Dude, I'm keeping this. You're crazy. Dude, I'm absolutely keeping this. A freaking hook remover. Look at that. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah. Bill Dance, orange edition, hook removal services offered to you for free look at that man that's look guys i was just telling another friend of mine the other day i was like man i really want a hook remover now i got one it's got absolutely destroyed by ants somehow on my hand or something guys this 7.3 extra heavy this thing ain't no joke i'm gonna tell you right now this thing i freaking horse that dude like he, I don't know if you guys can tell, you guys should be able to see that. He buried himself in that stuff and I just pulled him right through it. Just horsed him right through it. No issues at all, no worries. Just pulled him right on up. Dealing with nasty, thick vegetation, nasty conditions today. It's actually raining right now. Got another one. There we go. They're munching guys. Let's go guys. The oil change fishing challenge, what? What even is that? Who does that? Who does stuff like that? Actually, no joke guys, I put a poll on my Instagram, kind of joking around like, hey, I gotta go get an oil change in my truck. Do you guys wanna see me do the oil change fishing challenge? You know, kind of just walk down the road and find a body of water to fish. And it got like 700 votes. And I'm not even kidding you when I tell you guys this, three votes were no. 697 votes were for yes. So, that's what you guys want, that's what you guys get. I had no clue, I was literally kind of just doing it as a joke, but you know, hey, if you guys wanna see it, I'll make it happen. This is kind of going along with the, uh, the, the theme and the theory that, you know, you might, you know, not really have that much time to fish or whatever, and you know, kind of just go fish every chance you get. So basically, I'm getting an oil change right now. I got about two hours to burn. Why not go try to catch some fish? Makes sense, right? Well, the, uh, the oil change man just called me, said we're all done. I had a freaking blast doing this, guys. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you again for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If this is the first video of mine that you're ever seeing, don't forget to uh, thumb punch that bright red subscribe. But what in the world? Don't mind my hair, guys. A little cattywampus right now. Anyways, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. All right, drop me a comment. What was your answer to the question of the day? Make sure you drop that comment. I'm pretty anxious to see it. It was a pretty good question of the day. Anyways, love you guys. Thank y'all for watching. We'll catch y'all next time.